Welcome to Courtside. I'm Blair Cartwright along with Tom Collin. Mixed week for the Razorbacks last week. Big win at LSU. Historic win. It's been a long time since we won in Baton Rouge. And their tough home loss to number five Tennessee. One and one though, still a pretty good week. Yeah, it, it was a good week overall. You know, it's uh, you, you never like to lose. You know, but uh, I guess if you're going to lose, losing to Tennessee doesn't seem quite as bad as maybe some of the other schools in the conference. And certainly, you don't want a, a loss at home. Uh, to Tennessee in front of a great crowd to uh, knock out the fact that uh, you did a historic thing and going down to LSU and winning for the first time in, in many, many years and especially winning down there. So uh, it, it was a good, that was a great win for us. Um, the, the Tennessee game, home game, lost, but a uh, great crowd. Uh, a lot of good things came out of that. And uh, you just gotta kind of got to go from there. you got to take the good with the bad sometimes. You take a road win any day. Let's take a look at our three keys. First off, Sarah Watkins continuing to get it done. Double-double at LSU. 15 points, two rebounds against Tennessee. And that's despite having foul trouble. Well, Sarah continues to be probably the most steady player on our team. You know, when we signed her, we knew she was going to be good. She went through the freshman woes. Great at times, bad at times. We've talked about that already. Uh, but she's becoming more and more consistent. We've just got to find a way to, to keep her on the floor more often. You know, she gets in a little bit of foul trouble. But when she's in there, uh, she's good for us. And we got we got to get her the ball a little bit more because uh, she's one of the leading field goal percent shooters in the SEC, and good things happen when we get it there. So we got to, we just got to keep feeding it in there and, and letting her play. Our second key, Sierra Ricketts, 20 points, 9 rebounds at LSU, 12 points, 2 rebounds against Tennessee. Steady as always. She just keeps putting up numbers, you know, and, and some of that is a result of our offense and the way people are guarding us. When people play us man-to-man uh, -man and they take Lindsay away from us, then the ball's in Sierra's hands and she's really forced to make a lot of plays. So she's going to score a lot of points for us. Uh, you know, there's there's nights when she's when she's great. There's nights when she's when she's good. Uh, you know, some, some when, as long as she falls in that range and we can get a few other people scoring, then we're going to win games. And that was a good example down at LSU. Low scoring ball game. Um, Lindsey struggled a little bit early, but uh, Sierra went off on him, made all of her free throws. And uh, usually you get her, you get Sarah, and you get Lindsey all scoring at the same time. You got a chance. And our third key, Kara picked the freshman continuing to shine. Four points, nine rebounds at LSU. Eight points, five rebounds against Tennessee. She doesn't play like a freshman. No, she doesn't. And she, she really has a lot of confidence in herself, and we need to find ways to, to push the, the buttons on her a little bit harder and maybe get her the basketball. You know, we talk all the time about the big three, and we've always got a chance to win, but how good would we be if we got a fourth and a fifth kid stepping up? You know, and, and Kara Peak is probably the leading candidate uh, of everybody else on our roster despite the fact that she comes off of our bench. Uh, she, she still steps up in a big way and a very limited number of touches. So just got to find ways to get her the ball, build her confidence a little bit more. And, you know, I, I still believe in my heart she's got some games ahead of her where she's going to step up and really put some big numbers up. She's going to be fun to watch, no doubt about it. We need to take a timeout. Back with more Courtside after this. A lot of universities talk about their personalized approach and unwavering commitment to each and every student. We, however, engrave ours in stone. University of Arkansas, the U of A. You've this week's mail. question comes from Tommy in Bella Vista. Has the new SEC TV contract helped in terms of exposure for your program? Well, we, we, we think it has. You know, it's, uh, it's maybe a little bit too early to tell. I mean, we're getting positive feedback. I certainly think uh, a lot of the parents of our players are getting to watch us a little bit more and, and recruits, especially regionally, uh, uh, when, when the stations pick up those games. And, and we've still got some big national games ahead now, like regional and national games on ESPN2 and ESPNU. And I think we'll find out a little bit more uh, about how to answer that down the road. I, I can't imagine that in the long run that it's not going to help us on the recruiting side. Uh, uh, and that, that that probably would be our greatest benefit from that. Great. Thanks for the question, Tommy. Submit your question on the courtside page under women's basketball at ArkansasRazorbacks.com. For over 100 years, Arkansas fans have called the Hogs and filled our past with championships, memories, and pride. Now, the Hogs are calling on you. We need you to answer the call. Make no mistake about it, it's our turn. Are you ready to answer the call? Answer the call. Answer the call. Answer the call. Let's answer the call. 
Welcome back. Time to look what's coming up for the Razorbacks. Speaking of TV games, two of them this weekend, Thursday and Sunday. Thursday, 6 o'clock at Georgia. It's on CSS, also on Cox Sports Television. Of course, check your local listings. Georgia, a team we saw earlier this year, a game that was most likely deemed winnable. What do you do to turn the tide in Athens? Well, we got to find a way to score with the basketball a little bit more. That always seems to be the sticking point for us. I think our defense has been awfully solid all year long. Uh, our defense was pretty good against them. Um, we just faltered a little bit offensively, got in a little foul trouble early with Sarah Watkins. So uh, obviously we're going to go down there, and it's a, it's a great TV game and good exposure. We're going to play in front of a good crowd. Um, but, but we look at it as an opportunity. You know, it's, it's not a must-win game for us, but it's, a, it, it's an opportunity for us to maybe stick one more feather in our cap. And I think when we're able to go out on the road like we did against LSU and, and win in that venue for the first time, I think it gives our kids a lot of confidence. They certainly played Georgia close here, so they've got to believe that they've got a shot to, to win, even though we realize it's a great challenge. So we're, we're looking forward to it. We really like to go out on the road and, and, and face good opponents and see how we stack up and, and maybe try to build that NCAA record resume just a little bit more. I have a feeling Lindsay's going to be covered as soon as she gets off the bus. Well, she certainly got hot against them uh, down here. She was really the player that got us back into the game and gave us a chance to win. And we just needed one defensive stop, and maybe we, uh, we could have pulled off that upset. But uh, Lindsay's going to be guarded hard. Everybody in the league knows about Lindsay. They, 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 they guard her tight. They, they take her away from us. The one good thing is, I think, with Lindsay is George's apt to play us a lot of zone, and, and that opens up a lot more looks for her. So uh, hopefully she's going to go in there confident. I don't think she's going to hesitate. I think she's just going to keep throwing it up there for us. <laughs> Sounds good. Super Bowl Sunday, back here at Bud Walton Arena, 3 o'clock. South Carolina comes to town. That game will be on ESPNU. Big win at South Carolina last year, also on TV. Kind of started a, the end of the season going really well. What do we know about the Gamecocks this year? How are they a different team? Well, they're right in the middle of the pack uh, with us right now, you know, and I think they've got their designs set uh, the same way we do. They want to get into the NCAA tournament. They played a pretty good non-conference schedule to build their resume, and they're looking for some big wins. And, you know, right now with, with our RPI, what it is, uh, up, up around the 30 range, we're a big win for them, especially to be a road win. So, you know, I think they're going to come in here. We're going to be right there tied with them, uh, hopefully. Uh, when, when they come into the game, and I think it's not necessarily going to be an elimination game, but I think it's an awfully big game uh, for both teams. So we've just got to find a way to step up. They're, they're really competitive. They're, they, they take on the, the personality of their coach, Don Staley, who was a hard-nosed competitor. So uh, it, it should be an exciting game for our fans. Well, Coach, best of luck, and uh, let's get two more W this, right. this week. Sounds good. All right, for Tom Collin, I'm Blair Cartwright. We'll see you next week on Courtside.